Hello and welcome back to Super Robot Tyson J, the end game. On our last installment, we actually made Jammu Dolby and Gulen and Guts run for the hills as we chase them down to their headquarters, which is somewhere on the moon. All our units are basically prepped and ready to go. I have nothing more to do except finish this game. And that is what we're going to do. We're going to finish this game right here, right now, as we enter the two-part in-game. Part one, which is episode 51, Cold Hearted World. We, the Fury, are nomadic people. Just as you surmise, we lost an ancient interstellar war and suffered exile from our original star system. Once our med ship, the Gar La Furia, entered a fixed orbit around the Earth, our remaining population retreated to their stasis bits. Even now, they await the moment of their reawakening. So this Gal. Furia thing is your main base. It's very deep underground, right? To be more precise, it became the moon itself. With the passage of time, meteorites and other space-borne mat materials accumulated on its surface, eventually resulting in the satellite that currently orbits your planet. Uh, what? You expecting us to believe that, baby? Just out of curiosity, what kind of time frame are we talking about here? Around 14 cycles of this star system, a duration of time similar to what you call years. I'll be ex expanded to a larger scale, however, this since this star, star system orbital speed has changed from, from what I remember, I think it may be closer to... Wait, 14 rotations of the Earth. I thought it'd be a lot longer than that. Not exactly human, by cycles of this, star, of this solar, of the star system, She's referring to duration of time necessary for our sun to make a full orbit in relation to the galaxy. That means it's been about 2 billion, 80 million years. Oh, holy moly, that much? Well, that's, well, well, that's only a rough estimate. The Fury ha has said before that they, they're nearly 4 billion years old, after all. So does that mean the Fury really did sell seeds on life on Earth? Ah, uh, about that. Yeah, I suppose that would create quite the mess for all of those biologists. <laughs> it's still, it, it does fit in the timeline you're, you provided for us. That's just certainly a shock. My apologies for the revelation. Uh, you know, there's no reason for you to apologize, you know? But, wait a minute. I realize how crazy this revelation is, but all I can think about is, does this mean our princess here is four billion years old? Huh? Hey, don't you know it's rude to ask a girl her age? Yeah, but she definitely looks young. She's a real looker, all right. Top class, for sure. Jackass! This is a serious conversation! She's just being swallowed up by it. Oops, uh, we definitely strayed from our original topic, huh? Not a problem, sir. <laughs> we were just lightening the atmosphere a little. There's some things that shouldn't be trivialized. God, you guys are hopeless. No joke, can't you take the can you take this even a little seriously, please? Lady Shanamir? Oh, my apologies. I couldn't help myself. You earthlings are such humorous creatures. Nah, don't worry about it. They're just a bunch of idiots. Heck, we should be apologizing to you. Man, ain't no reason to be this tense. It's just 
We're not sure how to react when he tells mind blowing truths like that. No way, by sis! What's past is past! Yeah, I have to agree. Toya, I'm so envious of you. This life you lead. The people you call friends. Alright, uh, why don't we resume our talk, you know, about the Fury and Gulandon? Is he up to something incredibly dangerous right about now? Yes, let us discuss that. It is something we must still repent for as a people. An hour later. Meanwhile in the lunar interior, Carl of Fioria. Jomu Dobi, Furu Muru, Purirura. I hereby order you to proceed to the core and reactivate the Gala Furia. Reactivate the Gala? What? You want us to move the ship? But, but, but can we really do that, my leash? In our own plan for not? We're abandoning the initial plan. Our new goal is to destroy the Earth's surface entirely, along with the humans. Our initial plan was to annihilate mankind, inhabit the Earth sphere, and relocate to their planet. Are you suggesting that such a plan is no longer feasible? Bite your tongue. We can always sow the seeds of life on Earth again. And you will bend over and you will call me daddy. I am certain another chance for our race will present itself. This was a long-term plan to begin with. What a pity. Still, I am here to follow your command, my leash. Then I leave the key in your care. You already know what is this, what is expected of you. Of course. If it is my destiny to die in battle, I have no choice but to accept. Uh, oh, no, my leash! I want to sell my score with it! I still haven't paid... I still haven't paid back those bastards! I beg of you, give me one more chance! I'll be sure to defeat them, and then we can take the air of Raphael's plan! Victory will continue to elude you as long as revenge remains your only motivation. You're oversimplifying things, my leech. Please, I beg of you! Silence! Do I sense an attachment to those despicable humans, Jammu? Uh, Regardless of our chances for success, the plan has already been set in motion. Be grateful, Jammu. You were given a key. To participate at all is a privilege and an honor. I agree. Lady Fulu! We've been unable to achieve victory. Nonetheless, you must uphold your responsibility as a knight and as a man with little balls. That is all. Go and do what must be done. Yes, my liege, as you wish. Meanwhile, back on Anashiko. I don't believe that Masaki Kiara met you when he made contact with the Fury. A distinct possibility. I was probably inside the cradle during that time. I am part of the first generation of Fury born on this ship. And I spent most of my time in this era as well. Aha! That explains your age then! Indeed. Well, what's wrong? You seem in trouble, Princess. Yeah, it bums me out having to see your pretty little face like that. Would you please stop intruding? Sorry about that, shutting me up. Please proceed. Right. Because of my youth, I know very little about the ancient interstellar war that forced us to the solar system. All I know is that it was a conflict of staggering scale waged between the Fury and countless other star systems in the same nebula as yours. Many of the Fury would like nothing more than to live a peaceful existence in a war without strife or war, but then Gulan began his campaign against the Earth. With the goal of removing all humans from the surface? That is correct. So, they think the only way to end this is, complete, is to completely obliterate their enemy. Nothing changed in, these, in all these billions of years, then. Between alien races and alien cultures, conflict was, is, and will remain inevitable. I fear you may be correct. That's why we must pursue Gulandon at once. It's possible he's already moving towards playing his final card, the Gaula. 
He doubtless intends to awaken our sleeping mothership. Is your ship going to drain the Earth's energy like we thought Orphan would? I mean, once it starts moving, it has to get its energy from somewhere, right? Orphan was a ruin from the bottom, from the bottom of the Earth seas, was it not? Our mothership won't be draining your planet's energy, no. However, you must remember that is first the very core of the moon. If it moves, the increase in speed will peel off in it, it peel off its mineral shell, and vast amounts of debris will fall into the Earth's surface as the ship releases cytron energy. Is that its goal? If so, the mankind No, the Earth itself will be completely devastated. Are you serious? Wait a minute, ship! How can a single ship do that? Allow me to explain. The main problem with would be the lunar material shell peeling off. So the ship itself is not the right? Correct. It is theorized that a meteorite with an estimated width of 10 kilometers fell to the Earth millions of years ago, causing the extinction of the dinosaurs. If the lunar shell surrounding their ship breaks apart, the size of the resulting fragments will be in scale of dozens of kilometers. Even if we ignore the increased speed, those fragments will pick up from the mothership cytron energy discharge. Even one fragment colliding with the Earth will be enough to wipe out the vast majority of life on Earth. It's conceivable that even algae and other unicellular organisms will be unable to survive the resulting catastrophe. Not even algae? But weren't those very bad? I mean, Gulen and his goal to remove it. Mankind saw that the fairy could inhabit Earth instead? If they could get away with this, then the whole planet will go to hell in a handbasket. Literally. I mean, it's not like you can live on a barren rock, right? He is all too aware of the repercussions. Even if the Earth is reduced to a barren wasteland, Gulanda views that as nothing more than a return to where we were originally. Favorable outcome in his mind. Less cruelty evidence in that line of thinking. It's absurd. Yes. In the realm of human myth and legend, there exists a common story of a creator deity passing judgment on his own creation. Chief! Within that same framework, however, are legends of humanity surpassing themselves, overcoming seemingly insurmountable trials in the process. There exists one such myth of a god who who betrayed their kin and father in order to assist mankind. Hmm. That was a mean way of putting it, Chief. Think of our think of our company. That's right, because Shalomia came to warn us. There's still hope. We still have a chance to stop the running. There's still time. All we have to do is prevent the mothership from activating, right? We'll do just that. Thank you, Shanamia. Oh, thank you, Lady Shanamia. Your knowledge was vital. Now it's the least I can do. Because of your meddling in, our, in your, because of our meddling in your war, several people who should should not have died ended up suffering the true death. And on top of that, we now seek to. That wasn't what you wanted, though, right? I am she who watches over the fury. Nothing I do is atonement enough for our actions. I deserve your hatred for what my people have done. I deserve to be blamed for the sins we've committed. There, there, we're not gonna blame anyone here. That's not, that's just not what we do. Are you serious? Assigning blame to is it mean? It is Shana Mia. Totally meaningless. Just like you couldn't stop Gulandon, we were too, we too were unable to prevent our own war from happening and spiraling out of control. That's right, it was this, the, shiz, the schism between naturals and foreigners that triggered the war. We and the rest of mankind are still young. As much as we despise the, the thought, these things are going to happen. It's for those same reasons that the colonists from the Moon and Mars ended up becoming what we knew as the Jovian Lizards. If we ignore what we've done and blame you for everything, then we'll never learn. We have to break that cycle. Everyone I asked me a year ago, and I would have blamed you for sure. Now, well, 
I'm in the same mindset as everyone else. Come on, Shana Mia. The blame game isn't going to do us any good. We have to do what we can do to end this ourselves. But we were the foolish ones. We developed technologies to stop time itself and prolong our lives to eternity after eternity. What we never learned to preserve was our culture, our memories. We've lost everything and learned nothing. Then learn from your mistakes starting now. Yeah. Let's beat the tar out of this goo landing guy. Come on, aren't we running out of time? Yes, you're right. Let's make haste, everyone. I'll open the conduit and take us inside and take us all inside the gala. The conduit? A passage in the fabric of space that our units use to leave or enter the ship. It will take us close to the heart of the gala. Oh, so it's easier to prepare for logic one! Possible we have to fight right from the get-go, so be prepared. Got it? Yokai! Warp out complete! Uh, <laughs> did that sound about right for a situation? Well, I got no either side. All sections report on our status. Right. Systems are all green. No fire obstacles detected. Our current position is unknown. We're setting coordinates using relative position to map our location. Flight deck, any abnormal, any abnormalities? Engines are working just fine. It's freedom. No problems here. Just here, likewise. Same with the buster. Relax, beauty. I wasn't worried about you, you know. Uh, really? And another shaker. Jump out complete. All sections checked. No abnormalities. Omakane has finished with the calculations. We're inside the moon around 1,700 oh, kilometers deep. Navigation systems readjusted. Captain Robbins, are you alright? This is the Archangel. No problems detected. <laughs> you always seem to be plenty used to this kind of thing. Yeah, I wonder how that happened. <laughs> this isn't the time or the place to relax, Captain. Remember, we're deep inside the enemy mothership. Oh, I know, Mr. Prospector. So, show me where should we go from here? Let me see. We're near the main engine block of the Gala. If they're going to start it up, that's where they'll be. Well, what the? Heat source detected on the approach. Looks like they've already found us. Oh, really? Well, that makes sense, I guess. What kind of units? Numerous smaller machines. No command units have been detected yet. Just a van card. Then. That's intercepted. That okay with you, Princess? Yes. Understood. All units prepare to launch. You're going with me. You got mobility. I'm going to use, it, baby. Come on, Cardia. It'll all be over. It's been such a long struggle, Toya. Yeah, Katya. I wanted to tell you this for a while, but, well, I'm glad I met you three. Uh, oh, what are you going on about now? It's not like I love to fight or anything. But even I have to stand alone. I have the strength to defend the people and things that I love. And for that, I couldn't be happier to have met you or the rest of the girls. But really? Yeah. And I had to apologize for all that bitching and money I did a year ago. I don't worry about it, Toya. That happened such a long time ago. By the way, can I ask you something? What is it, Katya? You know, about defending the people you love? Oh, uh... I just met my friends, you know, everyone! Uh, I see, sorry for asking such a strange question. And in the midst of battle, Toya blatantly cock blocks himself! Alright, you ready? Let's go! Right! I can't tell her at a time like this. No, as a parent, dude, it's a parent. 
Damn! How did they make it this far? Aren't Lord Jamu and Lady Fulu here yet? We've no need for the commanders. We'll deal with the intruders right here. On units, protect Diasmus and intercept the enemy. This is their main base, so be prepared for reinforcements. Well, I'm just going to have to go in balls deep now, aren't I? Alright, I'm going to have to pull out, um... Those who can hit fucking hard. I'm serious, I'm pulling out those who can actually hit fucking hard. So that means I'm pulling out... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... Don't worry, Alan B will be there for the second. So, yeah. The first half of this, the first half of this, um, battle is, well, our units are going to have to work our way just like we did with the Tekaman battle. The Tekaman, um, Omega battle. And if you can remember the Tekaman Omega battle, it was kind of like this. The only thing is that you have to be aware of is when you reach the ninth turn, that's when the boss units appear and you only have 10 turns in order to beat both of them. Otherwise, you don't beat them in 10 turns. Game over. Basically, all you want to do is get your power units out. And make sure all your power units have strike or love or anything that can give them an edge in the boss battles. I'm a little saddened because Domon doesn't have, like, mobility. But yeah, what you want to do is you want to get the most mobile units out there. And what you want to do is you want to push yourself through these units. Because after you take down a few units, then the boss units will come out. So 
the one thing you want to do throughout this balance, you want to push forward. If that means that most of, your, most of the units that are coming after you are going to make a big stink, push. And everybody loves. I think I might be right by saying this, but you be a certain number of units. The boss units will come out, and therefore, yeah, you don't want what's coming when that happens. So yeah, part of this battle is time battle. They won't move, they'll just, they'll just basically just stand their ground. And just do this. Shin Tentayage! Gun. Nah, uh, you you don't bring a claw to a to a fist fight, you know. No! having a bit of slowdown because of how many enemies are on screen. So 
So what you want to do is you want to at least get to where the bosses are going to show up. So basically you're making a beeline the entire way. And save states may be used in in this in this fight. Not entirely sure, but save states will be used. I should have had a mobility to cheek on them. Oh well. Go to slash. But I think it's more like um, if nine units are left on the field, that's when the boss units come out. I have you where I want you, that's what she said. I would like to say, I really wish these units would actually move instead of being a shield, because that's what they're doing, just going shield formation. I remember this was by far the hardest battle I, I had ever done. Not only because it was... Not only was it one of those kind of time battles, but the map itself was a pain in the ass. Because I want you to take a look at the map that I'm about to show you. Okay, take a look at this map. It reminds you of the Sega Man Omega map. 
because you have to basically go here, 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 here. You gotta basically just, just go straight up. Just go straight up, make a beeline, and just boom, 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 and just go down. I remember the one thing that I, I believe Fulu did was a stupid thing. She basically teleported herself to where all <laughs> to where all the others just basically have free hits on her. And the one thing it had to do was basically just his ass hand to it. Drill pistol punch! Okay, one moment, I need to check on something real quick. Alright, sorry about that. Had to check to see if my folks were okay. They were sleeping just fine. Moving on! I was about to say, how fast are we going to do this shit? Because I swear to God, I don't want to go through all this shit. Bam. I'm not giving you the formation. But you are gonna get.
Are you sure you want that, sir? Because it's habit forming. But that's what you want, sir. Just in case. I like the door. Hope you don't mind, we're gonna pick our heads out. It's either nine units or nine turns, I don't know. But actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a smart thing. Half of the units just make a beeline. I know, it, 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 it's stupid, but I think it's smart. Rapier, why don't you have... Never mind. Goddamn twisted, serious, zero man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I am not faking the funk when I say that that is a twisted ass serious. They have Vanguard, so do I. It's so sad because at this point they're like two shotters. They can be taken down in two shots like boom boom.
sir, that's gonna be a miss there. Supermodel! You, sir, have a fortunate... Are so fortunate... To be locked on! It's the rainbow! Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it all! Yes, it's all me, so I'm getting my ass kicked by you. We're saving that for a rainy day. You, sir. Get the dang cool hole. Formation! Are you sure you want that? <laughs> Mountain! Earth! Missile for it! And you get no missile threat.
Beautiful. Now, does anyone else want the powerhouse? Am I going to have to ruin your day as well? Guess I'm going to have to. Shakiri in the hereafter and a Sean Temple on Earth! This is going to blow your mind! You say, cool, two, ten. Right on, kick. And Toya and Katia level and wow. Mm by the name of Dan Cougar. Dan Cougar has basically whipped your ass from ship to stern. Yes, thank you, Alan. Stay with the group. Oh, Blade. You haven't had much action, so let's fix that. Teclensa!
excuse me, sir, but you are going to let us through! I'm splitting my forces because I believe that seed. I believe that they might have um, HP regen on them. So I am playing it safe. Just because I feel you can have a small band and take out one unit and just have another unit just go, you know, just have a small band of units go after this one boss unit. Then you can have another to show up and just. It's basically like boom, 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 boom. Because remember, assist attacks, they do considerable amounts of damage. Nah. You shall taste beam sword, sir. Ow. What I may do is, well, if the bosses show up, I'll just make that into another part altogether. Then the final final boss will be one part altogether. I can't take any more! That's what she said. I'm gonna give you a taste of the double whammy! Smart thing you should do is just, like I said, when the boss units come, cast strike. Anything to make sure that you do indeed get a big hit. Strike in Valor or Love.
or something that lowers their wheel, because that works too. Not against that kind of feature, nope. Hello, sir. Today's feature is Dan Ku Ho on whole wheat with all the fixings. Down cool! Ha! Of course you can't continue. Your body cannot handle the power of the continue. Are you sure you want that, sir? Jima! A powerful fury unit energy signature has been detected straight ahead. All tracked! I knew we'd be facing reinforcements sooner or later. Really? What kind of force are they? Two mid class command units and several small ones. It's probably those two. Toya. Yeah. yeah, I know. We'll set our score with them here. Oh, here these fuckers come. Goodness, how did this happen? Could you be a present from the Grim Reaper? What the hell? How'd you bastards get here? Fulu Mulu, Furirura, Jamu Dalby, sheave your swords. A princess! Lady Shadowman, don't tell me you're the one who... I can't believe you were the one who betrayed us! We cannot allow this meaningless struggle to continue. 
Golandon's plan has already collapsed, so please cease this fighting at once. Who actually listen to you, Lady Shalamia? I'm gonna crush it and have exactly the care they deserve because of them. Lord Alas been What the hell are you talking about? Are not we the Fury in the wrong? Were we not the first link in this chain of hatred? We of all people should know what lies at the end. No! No! I'm not listening! I don't care if you with them! I won't let you back to this game! It's a pity, your highness. But we can no longer back down. Forgive me. Even you, Fulu. Mulu Puriruda. The Arch Knight orders are absolute. Please, bear no grudges against me, your highness. To die in battle against a respected enemy is an indescribable boon. As for the rest of you, listen closely. The ship, the Gal La Furia, is in the midst of its startup preparations. The only step remaining to complete the process is the insertion of the keys, and those are Jammu and myself. What? what Lady Fulu, what are you doing? The Ralph, these Ralph clans we pilot are the keys I speak of. Mine is the bow key, while Jamu's is the stirring key. Should both of them be lost, the Gala will be stopped. But you're already running out of time. You've but ten minutes to finish this off. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The ten minute, the ten minute battle has begun. Why are you putting so much effort into telling us your own plans? Perhaps it is because I wanted to escape my duty as a knight. Until now, I've only fought out of respect for my lineage. To fight for my own sake is the least I can do for myself in the end. Fulu, I must impress. Are you mad, Lady Fulu? It's betrayal at, the, at its worst! Do you not enjoy that smell, Jamu? It is not the greatest honor of a knight to cross swords with a respected foe. Why? Why are you doing this? Why the hell does everybody turn crazy after fighting them? Why not they will fall on our day? Alright, come. I am Fulu Mulu Puri Lula, leader of the first division of the Holy Order of Furia. I challenge you. Challenge accepted! Your convention is admirable. I won't hold back. Damn it! It's you! Everything is your fault! <laughs> I cannot what ha what the afterlife holds for me. A splendid death is all I ask for. All units, concentrate your firepower on those two. Cooperate di with Diasmus to destroy the en enemy command units. I'm running out of time! Please hurry! So the only victory can conditions are if Jamu and Fulu are shot down. When that's done, battle's over. And we can only do it in 10 turns. So, of course, the one thing that we're going to do is going to let these jackanapes just not do a damn thing, although I wish it really would do something, because if it did, I could easily pass through a little bit faster. But no, you chose the Jack and Ape's way of assholery, you bitch. You know what? It's time for you to taste the rainbow! Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it all!
Scythian! Taste the rainbow! Taste the rainbow! What I can use right now is a map attack. That's what I can really use right now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop here and in the next part, we are undergoing a test of the emergency kick ass system. And yes, this is only a test. I will see you in the next part.